Hi everyone. How is university life like for you? The invisible enemy is voter usage. The usage of plastic has increased dramatically. Being aware is not enough. We all know we have to do something for our sustainable future. We wanted something big, we wanted something global. Welcome to Red Bull Basement 2020. Red Bull Basement is, in essence, an innovation competition. It's, it's almost a call to arms for university students around the world to, to create technology solutions and implement technology solutions that are good for not only the students on campus, but for the rest of the world as well. All over the world, there have been workshops to support the students' projects. Servus. The speed and potential impact ideas can have today is bigger than ever before. And that's why we're here. The problem is that in our cities, in our urban areas, we don't value water. The purpose of experience shopping is to save the environment by reducing online clothing returns. CycleSave is an application where you can transform all your daily junk into new, exciting and useful products and even gain money. We're looking at making smart jewellery that help people control, discover and share music. Hi. I'm Rollins, and this is Abdul. <laughs> and that's very wrong. I'm Rollins, and he's Abdul. And, and we're Culture, Culture Capture. The Tariki is an endangered language. Every two weeks, a language dies. We tend to lose our own identities. My last experience with cultural events of the tribe was 15 years ago. In my head, I'm thinking, I'm part of the problem. What Culture Capture is, is a social digital museum with gamification aspects. It's a place where users can showcase the beauty of their cultures by simply uploading videos to the platform so that we can preserve the knowledge that is disappearing with our different cultures. Users will be able to upload media on their culture's unique aspects. For example, the food or the dances or their wedding rituals. They will then earn points where they, they can compete on a leaderboard with fellow anthropologists. This will preserve the cultures and prevent the, the cultural rot that we're experiencing in the world. Hi, I'm Paramir Bachu, one half of the team Lava. Hi, I'm Joanna Power, and I'm the other half of Lava. The UK is currently on the, the brink of running out of water. I think we're about 20, 25 years away from that. I also didn't have enough money for campus laundry facilities. The AquaX is a uh, portable washing machine that takes your used shower water, filters it, and then reuses it in the washing process. And if every student in the UK were to use the AquaX, we could save enough drinking water for the entire population of Sweden. And that's annually as well, so that's quite amazing. If everybody saves that amount of water, we're going to have so much free water available. I was quite attracted to creating an innovation for positive change because I believe that that's what design is all about. I believe that design is, you know, forwarding, changing and adapting and solving a problem, really. That solving a problem is positive. No matter how small the problem is, it's, it's always doing something. Hi, this is Sarah. This is Varisha, and we're UniThing. We have been dealing with a lot of data. Obviously, we're studying finance. And the biggest problem they encounter is handling the data. We have to go at very tough or hard lengths to find that data. You're putting a lot of effort, you're putting a lot of time in it, yet whatever you're producing at the end of the day, it doesn't have a, have a lot of value because either it's biased or it's super inaccurate. UniThing is an app that's going to digitize mediums of research. It will help people who want data and connect them with those who are able to provide that kind of data. 
Our university actually equips us with certain tools and we realize this thing that once we're out of our university, we might not be able to access those things again. That was the main idea that kind of inspired this whole UniThink venture. We believe that UniThink is not just an idea, it's a revolution in the primary research world. I think that's good. <laughs> I'm Aylin. I am Jan. We We're are planning. <laughs> in Turkey, especially in food waste and just separating food is something that we haven't accomplished yet. In Plantic, we use composting. We turn food waste into good use. When you compost food, it has a lot of energy inside, which is good for plants. So we combine these two things, and we basically say that when you put your banana peel into Plantic containers, you'll be potentially growing a plant in 24 hours. Let's say that I'm a Plantric user and I have compost that I don't need. I just go on my app and see the companies that need it and I just sell it and they come to my house and they take the compost and they use it because they need it. Every time people ask us what Plantric is, we say Plantric is a self-sustaining garden ecosystem. We are, we are Team, team UniThink. <laughs> we, we have to say Pakistan or we just have to say woohoo. We took a pen, we took a paper, and then we started drawing whatever came to our mind. This thing yeah. that we have over here was actually optimized. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and we're we had a lot of ideas, but to refine your idea was a biggest challenge. So we asked a friend, hey, we want to design an application. What's the first step? What do you think we should do? There will be a payment gateway here. And Hiran, Virisha were very good friends of mine. So when the new Red Bull basement came, I encouraged them to apply because I knew they had the potential and courage to go further and further. So once we're done with uh, the payment gateway, what is the next step? Then we have to make sure that we send out this website to different students and the people who will be interested in these surveys. So Zain uh, participated last year. He told us everything about what really happens and what are the realities of this uh, entire experience. He's been a great, great help and he's definitely a very important part of our team as well. They have the potential to make some impact in the world and them thinking like this is something really, really inspirational. We're for the culture! For the culture. Roland is the major creative force in the team. He comes up with ingenious solutions and ideas for our designs and prototypes. And I'm really glad to be working with him. Abdul, on the other hand, is the intelligence force. He comes forth and he chisels my ideas into something that the public can enjoy. <laughs> Roland and I were just so used to mediocrity. So I was looking for something to push me to the next level and I absolutely found it. Kamilimu is a mentorship program for tech students in Kenya. I am the founder and program lead. When they were preparing for the Rebel Basement Workshop, it was very important to me that I walk with them throughout the journey. We could be able to look at the work that they've done in terms of the presentation, the proposal, and that really helped prepare them much better. And as we're becoming a more legitimate organization, just like some general advice on how to have it continuously grow. You can decide how fast do you want to grow culture capital because it doesn't have to have this exponential growth all of a sudden. <laughs> Dr. Chow is amazing. Her passion for technology, her passion to really drive people to achieve what they can do, it's something important and something that I appreciate. So being uh, accepted into Kamilim was actually a life-changing moment.
During the Red Bull basement prep process, we have provided them an office, we are providing them mentorship, we are providing them logistic support, and from the beginning, their idea has the potential to change the world, actually. So I believed in from the get-go. Should we focus on making this prototype? So, two things. Yes, you, you will turn this into, in, into reality, but uh, one thing is, are you uh, satisfying the requirements of the product? Mm -hmm. For example, you're saying that we are reducing the, mm -hmm. the time uh, for creating the compost for 24 hours. Yes. Can you do that? Can you like prove that? Or if I have very mixed mm -hmm. waste, what type of settings should I use? So you should try these mm -hmm. and also uh, you have to verify the, the, the efficiency of, yes. of the machine. Their actually team dynamic is, is really good. They're totally different characters, but they work together and actually create a team. <laughs> I believe a success isn't a success if you don't share it with people. My advice to young people, turn your ideas into reality. No matter how hard it is, you can do this. Creating prototypes in the workshop helps the students to develop their ideas, to get a visual, a three-dimensional, physical representation of what it is they're making. A lot of the stuff is drawn in CAD work, and on a screen it might look pleasant, but actually once it's produced as a, a physical form, it generates a different feel or look to the object. I think the technicians at Brunel are just absolutely amazing. They're kind of like part of the DNA and what it means to be a designer here. Here you go. You just touch the surface. Right, and you bring your right hand up a little bit. I definitely came into workshops with not a lot of experience and being really terrified of them. So the technicians were really welcoming, really supportive. They didn't make you feel stupid at all. They gave you lots of time. Always really interested in your ideas and they actually cared and they wanted them to do well. We get to see a lot of designs from our students. What I've learned over the years, you can immediately tell something that's a very good design. And this was really down to the determination of uh, Paranvir and Joanna. Everything we do is aimed towards better sustainability and improving the environment. I really like the Photoshop we did here. Paranvir is amazing at branding and video editing and a digital presence. He's really great at understanding that. Here we've got like, the top of the lid kind of turning the sides. Joanna is a lot more on the engineering side. She is obviously really good at electronics, manufacturability, design for manufacture, putting together this kind of complete product. And I think that works really well with a, with a, with a product like this, where the aesthetics of it are just as important as you know, the function of it. The pandemic basically changed the structure of Red Bull Basement. Red Bull had 36 in-country physical events planned that really couldn't any longer happen. So and we used one of our platforms because it enabled them to perform webcasts and interact with all these different students, regardless of their location in the country. And this year, we obviously had to go through a digital transformation. It's time for our first pitching round. All 38 of our contestants have had to prepare a two minute pitch during their recorded workshops, but only the 10 teams that made it to the final round get the chance to convince the jury. Charging revolution from Slovakia. Team Hummingbird from Japan. Team Ivy from Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> to play from Canada. Team Plantric from Turkey. Team Lava Aquax from the UK. Congratulations, Uni Sink. You're well part done, of our girl. top 10. <laughs> Culture capture. We were in the top 10. Did you know that every two weeks a language dies? Our mentor guided us through the entire process of what makes a good pitch. We practiced it over and over and over again. The platform will also provide inclusive accessibility by providing audio captions and translations. The points earned by the videos on the platform will place users on a leaderboard where they can compete in a fun and informative experience. It's, it's fun anthropology. anthropology. In the end, it paid off because I feel like we really, really impressed the judges. Thank you guys and well done. It's an amazing pitch. Congrats to the great idea. We basically kind of improved our pitch and learned how to apply like a three-act structure to it as if it were a story. Is it really a surprise that students waste so much water 
These lack of facilities result in a waste of over 16 billion litres of water per year. Ooh, I'm so excited <laughs> about this, this is great. It isn't just research, it's a lifetime of asking ourselves, what did we do? Where's our mark? Who are we? And this is where UniThink comes to life, a one-stop solution for empowering minds just like ours in their journey of producing a groundbreaking research. Really brilliant pitch, well done ladies. What do you see in my hand? Because what I see is 35% of energy. Plantric can take this apple, compost it, and take it to the soil past to give energy for plants to grow and thrive. Thank you very much. That was amazing, right? Absolutely. Right? The competition was immense. It was like X Factor. <laughs> it was like X Factor for, for business, you know? The clock has ended. The voting is over. Let's see who the winner is of Red Bull Basement 2020. So, Mandela. Do you want to take the responsibility? The winner is <laughs> Aqualava X. Winner, congratulations, oh, that face. <laughs> I don't think that Joanna uh, or I ever thought we'd actually get this far. If you watch it back, I think both Joanna and I were left a little bit speechless. Find the words. <laughs> oh How are you guys feeling? I just kind of sat there like, oh no, this, this is going to be one of those moments where they've accidentally called the wrong name. It then kind of set in and both of us were just kind of in shock. It's been absolutely great, you know, we've learnt a lot and uh, we, we, we hope to save some water. <laughs> yeah. I built the, flames. the Red Bull Basement Community Award goes to Culture Capture. Congratulations, Culture Capture. Can you show us your dance? <laughs> 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 Our progress so far has been extensive. We've trademarked our project itself. We've reached out to potential investors. We've also been in close contact with the National Museums of Kenya. We are working on a prototype. We've also met up with several people who have guided us on the future of culture capture. The Planchik machine is ready and we're going to start testing it. It's our time to get investments. Lava is currently at the prototyping stage. My hope for the future definitely will be to have lava on the market. You know, hopefully we, we can do some good, save some water and uh, have fun in the process. So, yeah. With UniThink, what we have done so far is that we have progressed with our market research strategy. We hired two interns to work with us. We've delegated a lot of tasks to them. Creating this project changed my life. Breaking through our own barriers was the biggest challenge. and We got more than we bargained for. Yes, I can say that we succeeded and uh, thank you, Varisha, yeah. for <laughs> inspiring me. The rest is history.